Katie, so many different developments. So I'm going to pivot to Mark Meadows because he is now moving to try to get the case moved from state to federal court. What's his argument? Yeah, so we want to keep an eye on this, Anna, because this is definitely something that Donald Trump is anticipated to do as well. There's a mechanism provided in the federal statutes that allows for a defendant who's being criminally prosecuted in state court if they were a federal official when they did the particular acts that are a part of the indictment in state court. There's a statute that allows them to try to remove their case from state court to federal court. Now, is there necessarily an advantage to a criminal defendant in federal court? That's debatable. But what's kind of important about this notice of removal that's been filed by Mark Meadows is that he's trying to get the case in its entirety dismissed. And I want to make sure this is clear. He's not just trying to get it removed from state court to federal court. He's actually trying to get the case dismissed under the supremacy clause, this hmm. idea that he has immunity for his actions because he was a federal official when they were done. Now, it doesn't mean he'd be rid of Fonnie Willis, though. So let's just say, Anna, that he's managing to get it from state court to federal court. There is the possibility that Fonnie Willis and her team here in Fulton County become special prosecutors. They get kind of this temporary pass to go to federal court to act as federal prosecutors to prosecute this case. And so, Mark Meadows, Donald Trump, you may file your notices of removal, but you may not be rid of Fonnie Willis. <laughs>